Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Bob Loon, aka Pebloon, and today we are going to be talking about the top five meme ships. And that it, this is my list and the ships that I consider the most meme ships. Meme, meme, can you even say that? Whatever, the most meme ships. And to kind of put a definition on meme ships, what do I mean by this? Well, it's a ship that, you know, typically they aren't the best ships and their gimmick is kind of hilarious and very niche. And so far, they become kind of a meme. A good example is the Paolo Emilio. It's, you know, it's the YOLO Emilio. It created a whole meme around itself because of the playstyle. So that is what we're going to talk about today. And I do have an honorable mention. And uh, that's, let's just start right there. The first ship on this list and the honorable mention. And trust me, there, there could I could make this list the top 20, I think. There's a ton of meme ships. But we are going to be talking about the honorable mention. And that is the Druid. So the Druid is a destroyer that has guns only in the front. And it, it gets a super heal, it gets a ton of smokes, and then it is an AP menace. The reason I think Druid is a meme ship is because the, the Druid can sit bow on and present the smallest target possible while just hammering you with AP shells over and over and over again. You could be playing a Smolensk and you might feel that you have a huge advantage over the Druid simply because, well, you're a Smolensk, you have 16 barrels. And a very short reload, you know, Smolensk annihilates DDs, but the Druid is completely insane, and it's just gonna sit in its short burst smoke, bow on, and just spam you to eternity until you succumb to your thousand wound cut. So, I don't own the Druid myself, but of course I have the press account, so I've tried it, and I have this, this memory in my head of playing against a Druid player on stream, and me getting utterly frustrated by the fact that my dispersion would completely miss this druid every time I shot at him. You, we've all tried it, shooting at a target, and your dispersion, it's kind of like they just magnetically get, you know, deterred from hitting your target. They just go to either side of your target, and you don't hit anything. Obviously, when the ship druid is bow on, that just makes it even more likely that your shells won't hit. So, that's why I put druid at the honorable mention it's not such you know it's not a big meme ship and it's actually one of the few ships on this list that is quite good so just because you're a meme ship doesn't mean it's necessarily bad and I know we I have some viewers that absolutely love the druid red is one of the people that I know is a big advocate for the druid so anyways let's move on to the number five and the number five on my list is the Khabarovsk Khabarovsk is Definitely a meme ship in my book. If you watched my video last uh, Monday, I think it was, or two days ago, I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, but if you watched my Kaba guide, you know that this thing, this DD at tier 10, has literally the shortest torpedo range out of any destroyer in tier 10. It also turns like a brick. I mean, it's it's practically a bus on the ocean. You, you do not turn very well. In fact, I, I, I would even say a school bus or a bus turns way better than the Kabarovs does. And just the random Ibuki that just died to our torpedoes in the gameplay. Yeah, I, I couldn't help but mention that. I, I, I don't know how that Ibuki got hit by that, but, you know, a happy little accident, as, as some would say. But the Kabarovs is obviously a meme ship, because you can go over 50 knots if you spec into the speed. You could barely turn, but you have these insane AP guns that just melt any DD. And the biggest meme part of the Kabarovsk, if you ask me, is the fact that you have to get so close to use your torpedoes. And at the time you're rushing down an enemy target, they, they, could, they could kill you over and over again. It's a pretty big ship, it turns dreadfully slow, like I said, so it's very easy to hit. And the thing just gets annihilated by CV, good CV players. So, once you have success in the Kabarovsk, it is such a great meme in itself that I can't stop laughing when I'm playing it, and it's the one of the reasons I I still play Kaba once in a while is because it just gives me a good laugh, and that's the you know whole reason of a meme ship, isn't it? So yeah, Kabarovsk in the number five spot. It it doesn't get a very high spot on the list because I don't think Kaba is that much of a meme ship. It can actually be quite powerful in the right hands, and if left un you know undisturbed, it's gonna do massive amounts of damage. 
And if you can't sneak up on somebody, yeah, it's it's a dangerous ship, but it's super hard to play, and the tools you get are not the easiest to work with. Let's just put it that way. So, for the number four spot on my list, this is one of my favorite, favorite ships, and that is the Colbert. Now, why is the Colbert a meme ship? It's it's insanely good, actually, so why, why do you call it a meme ship, Bob? Well, you have this massive, chunky boat with insane amounts of guns that shoot all the time it's it literally looks like a gatling gun shooting into the sky when colbert is stagger firing and or shooting each individual turret one after the other colbert is also extremely squishy and gets completely obliterated by high caliber battleship guns but it's just such a fun ship it is insanely fast and you can just turn and stop on a dime which makes for a very very interesting hilarious experience if you guys have watched one of my oldest videos uh, i just rewatched it here a couple days ago and uh, let me just say like like any other youtuber who goes and watches some of his old content i was cringing throughout the whole thing but my daka dudes episode with, with colbert is just me taking some of my buddies and taking three colberts and focusing down targets if you find a battleship that is a little bit out of position, you can just melt his HP. Not very fast, but, you know, just like the Druid, small consecutive hits over and over again. It makes for a really fun experience, and, you know, it's not very fun for the the one on the receiving end. It's very frustrating fighting a Colbert player who knows what he's doing, because he can turn and, you know, stop the ship very, very fast. So you're sitting there in your Vermont, you're... Aiming, aiming, aiming. Okay, he went broadside. The second this Colbert player sees you fire your shot, he's going to instantly hit reverse, turn in, and you're going to miss all your shells. Now, if the Colbert player doesn't know you're shooting at him, and trust me, I've also been there. I've tried a couple of times being one shot from full HP to zero in that thing. Yeah, you, uh, you will also get blapped, hence why I think it's a meme ship. So, for our number three spot. This is a ship that has been in the game for quite a quite a while and it, it is notorious it's a ship that i recently discovered and fell in love with on my vacation to brazil because well i am not very good on an ipad or a phone for that matter so i tend to like ships that just go straight and send torpedoes and that ship is the okhotnik or okhotnik the tier 5 soviet destroyer that it, it looks like a canoe and people do like to call it the war canoe hence why it's on this list that that the ship is a you know, de definite, or sorry, the de definition of a meme boat. You have a ton of torpedoes, seven single turreted guns that turn insanely slow. I, I mean, I, I seriously think you need to have five crew members for each gun to turn the thing because it, it takes forever. When I'm playing the Kotnik, I, I'm not trying to use the guns at all. I'm simply there to be a canoe that sails up to the enemy dumps a ton of torpedoes, sails away again. And it's actually decent, decently good at this, though, though Hotnik. It's it's a really fun ship. And it's actually become my favorite, you know, tier 5 ship to play. It's just so simple, yet so effective in some, some regards. And other times you just, you try, you, you know, your, your tried and true method, <laughs> sailing straight into somebody's vicinity, dumping torpedoes, running, and... You know, sometimes you have successes, other times you fail miserably. And I guess that's kind of the the main theme for meme ships, in my opinion. The Okotnik is a, a really fun ship, and if you have a chance to get it, I, I urge you to. It's super interesting ship to play. It's, yeah, there's not much else to say. Okotnik is a definite meme boat, in my opinion. For the number two spot here, we actually have something that plays very, very similarly to the Okotnik. And uh, I talked about it earlier in this video. It is, of course, the Yolo Emilio, aka the Paolo Emilio. It is a ship that is equipped with the most powerful torpedo damage-wise, I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen many torpedoes do the same damage. Maybe St. Vincent Torps. But the Paolo Emilio has three launchers. And that, you know, you just think, okay, wow, the most powerful torpedoes in the game. Three launchers, that's pretty decent. You have one on either side and then one in the middle. Well, the problem with those torpedoes is they have, I think it's maybe just shy or just a little bit above five kilometers, which is kind of the same as Khabarovsk. 
you have to get dangerously close to your enemy if you want to hit somebody with with the Paolo Emilio Torps. Another downside to the Paolo Emilio Torps is the reload is, I think it's 90 seconds. It's a one and a half minutes where you don't have much else to do than just sail around. Now, the Paolo Emilio guns are actually quite powerful and they I, I do enjoy playing with them. So when you don't have your torpedoes, obviously just go gunboat. But the play style of the Paolo is really where the memory comes in here. So a normal game in Paolo looks like this. You sail towards an island, you sit there and wait, you wait for an unsuspecting foe to appear close to you, you <laughs> emerge from your island, hit your speed boost, and once you get close, you activate your fuel smoke. By this point, your enemy will see one thing. It is a smoke that is barreling towards him at 55 knots, approximately, and he doesn't know what it is. Once the smoke dissipates, he'll see it's a Paolo Emilio, and if he is in a bad position, he is as good as dead. You have one shot, or three, you could say that, but you have one chance with Paolo once you commence your run. And, and what the you know big funny thing about this ship is, when you commit, once you commence that run, you have to go for it. There's no turning back, because Paolo is a massive destroyer. Just like Khabarovsk, it turns dreadfully bad, and it's huge. Once you commit to the run, you, you absolutely have to take out the target, otherwise you are doomed. And it pr does produce some pretty funny entertainment for the user or the, the, the commander of the Khabarovsk. In, this, in that case, that would be me when I'm commanding it myself. It, it produces some pretty hilarious moments when you, you're you confident as all hell that you, I'm going to get this guy. I, I got the drop on him. I send my torpedoes out and what the hell? He didn't die. Something messed up. Fortunately, they actually have fixed one of the biggest issues with Paolo. I mean, along with the fact that you have dreadfully s slow lo reloading torps, short range, massive ship, just like a bus. Um, well, there actually was a huge bug where one of your launchers would not really follow your cursor or your aiming reticle. So once you were engaged with the target, you shot one side of your torpedoes, and then when you went to go to the other side, your torps wouldn't work. So you'd be stuck there in, you know, maybe, maybe sometimes you'd be sandwiched in between two ships to get both sides off, right? And you'd be shooting one torpedo salvo into the ship on your left and one torpedo salvo or two into the one on your right. But once you go to the secondary target, you realize your torpedoes are not even close to being ready and you're just stuck there sailing 50 knots with no real armaments. And it, it, it is pretty freaking hilarious if you ask me. So that is why I put Paolo Emilio in the number two spot. It is probably the, the most memed ship in the World of Warships community. But in Blitz, we do have one more ship that is, in my opinion, probably the most memed ship. And, uh, well, anybody who's watched Sly 47 streams, or m once or twice in my case, will know about the Mikasa. I mean, I don't need, it's hard taking it serious putting the Mikasa in a list here, but I guess if it was to put be put in the list, it would be this one. So, Mikasa is a tier 2 IJN or Japanese battleship that people like to bring out, you know, on stream, especially Sly stream, to just duke it out at tier 2. I absolutely hate the Mikasa with a passion, because every time you try to play it, and it, it, it can't only be me that feels this way, your guns literally don't hit anything. It's it's like shooting a shotgun shell, you know, with buckshot or even if we, I would call I would even say birdshot. You know, you have these tiny pellets, these tiny guns that go nowhere, you know, that you aim for. And it is one of the most hilarious yet most infuriating experiences to play that ship. And the best way to do it is to take seven Mikasas versus seven Mikasas and just duking it out for seven minutes straight because nobody can hit each other. So that is my list, people. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of some meme ships. There's definitely more out there. I know a lot of you guys are going to say Eerie, probably, <laughs> or the Swan, maybe even the Black Swan. <laughs> but um, this is my list. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name has been Bubloon, aka Pavloon, and I am signing out.